Yeah, I thought our you know our bat showed a lot of tiredness in there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, tough road trip yesterday, and uh, both pitching staffs, uh, you know, were were, were solid, and and uh, you know their guys were a little better tonight. They got a couple swings off, and we didn't. We had some RBI moments early and didn't cash in. Uh, they did as well, and Connolly I think did a nice job to get out of some jams in the first three innings. I know you you had probably on a pitch count, and his pitch count got elevated pretty quick tonight. They got elevated. You know, he didn't have command of secondary stuff early, and uh, that. But he wiggled out of some jams, and, and I thought that was a good start yeah. to get Colin back to where Colin is. You know, he's got a long way to go. Uh, and we thought we got him at the right time. And Colton came in and quieted down and, and, you know, pitched very effectively until the two freebies there in the seventh, I think it was. And mm-hmm. and, uh, and then they got the big swing off in RBI moments. We had we had two opportunities prior to that that, we you know, that – if we could just get a big hit, that we take a lead, and the, the game probably unfold differently. Got to tip your cap really to Tucker Tubbs. Uh, he's not a guy that cares about that streak that he was on. He showed tonight, got the two singles, and when he made it two in the eighth, he gets an RBI double. Could have selfishly gone up there and just took big hacks trying to extend that streak, but it's a lot like that that ninth inning in, in Cincinnati. He honed in trying to help his team. Uh, gave your gave your team a chance to potentially rally there in the ninth, and in fact, uh, a chance to rally there in the eighth. Yeah, eight. against a very tough reliever. You don't see many drives down lefties that have velocity like Kenny does and, and uh, he came in and he pitched real effectively last night against Vandy he he, he did the job for him and yeah. he came back and did it tonight but uh, a lot like Nolan from the left side and you just don't see many of those guys I thought Tucker's at bat was very good and and uh, you know I, I would I would have liked to have gone into that seventh inning maybe up two nothing and now the, the, the whole thing can unfold differently yeah. but but Colton came in and, and, and you know I was happy he just, just elevated one pitch and a guy mm-hmm. got a swing off, some, and sometimes it just takes one swing. Yeah, well, well, Coach, now you turn around to get ready for USF, thankfully at home, so you don't have to be on the road any uh, this week until you go to Ole Miss next week. Uh, South Florida first place. They got Jimmy Hergett. We know we've seen him last year, and he, he, he blanked Louisville at the conference tournament. He's out to another good start, uh, an all-conference uh, type of guy, pitcher of the year type of stuff uh, into the season. He'll lead that first place uh, Bulls ball club. They have won a while with the night of Stetson 11-9 down in Tampa, uh, but unfortunately, the, your maybe your biggest foe of the year, the weather, going to come back into play again. We're going to tell people to check GoTigersGo.com tomorrow. The baseball Twitter, the baseball Facebook. You're really not sure what's going to happen right now, other than you're going to play a very good team coming in this weekend. Play a very good team, and and we'll try to find a way to get three games in. Yeah, and uh, and that's just part of the, what you go through in conference play, and and the conference gives you some leeway and start times. You just got to communicate with them and. We'll look at the hourly tomorrow, and we'll see what what's going to unfold over the three days, and make a decision, and get something un, you know announced tomorrow afternoon. Coach, sounds good. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you uh, sometime this weekend. Hopefully, Thank, Friday night. Thanks, Jeff.